I can't believe the price on this phone right here. This is the OnePlus Nord CE5. And at the time of this video, this is under 250 pounds. And you will understand why I'm so surprised when you see what this phone can do. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 1 million tips and tricks for the OnePlus Nord CE5. Okay, not really. I'm gonna share with you the first 10 things to do with this phone, and I've chosen only the best for this video. Let's get into the first 10 things to do and try on the OnePlus Nord C5. Number one, let's start with a little bit of customization. So this is something I really like about Oxygen OS. If you pinch the home screen and you go to icons here at the bottom, you don't have to settle for the regular icons with this phone because there are tons more options to choose from. And actually the amount of customization here is pretty incredible. Check this out, we have the classic style. If you want the more retro Android icons, you can change the size of these icons with this slider right here. You can also scroll down a little bit, turn off the app names if you don't want those. If you do want the app names, you can also change how big the text is. So if you struggle with your eyesight a little bit, you can play around with this. For me personally, at this point in time, I'm very familiar with app icons and what they are, so I don't need the app names. And this will just make the home screen a bit cleaner in my opinion. But check this out, here's where it gets even more interesting. You can adjust the type of icon. So we go with radiance, shadow is actually my favorite. You've got the material icons, and you've also got the pebble. And this option right here is where you could take your customization fully to the next level. Tap on custom, and here you could choose the icon shape. And once you've got a shape that you like, you can actually change the size of it just like before. If you scroll down a bit, you can adopt the system colors. So this will apply the color themes based off the system theme, which we'll come back to in a minute. I'll show you how to adjust that. Now with some of these shapes, for example, the circle shape, you can actually change the amount of roundness of the corners. So you can create a kind of squircle as they call it. So definitely spend a bit of time playing around with the app icons. I'm gonna go with the shadow set up here and I'm gonna make the icons as big as possible. So this next tip is gonna make life a lot easier for you when you're trying to reach the top of your screen. For example, on a page like this, where you have apps right at the top, there is a one-handed mode, but this might be even easier and it's really well hidden. Let me show you how to activate this feature. If you pinch the home screen, scroll all the way across and go to more at the bottom, on this page right here, you'll see icon pull down gesture. Tap on that and switch this feature on. Now you have to get used to using this feature because if you swipe in diagonally from a corner, that could wake Gemini. What you've got to do is swipe in slightly from the side, not the corner and inwards. And that brings all of your apps to the bottom of the screen. If you keep your finger held down, you can just swipe across to the app that you want to open. This feature also works on the opposite side. So if you swipe in from the side of the phone, not the corner and inwards, you can activate an app just like this. Okay, tip number three, here's another little customization tweak. I have made an entire video going fully in depth on how to customize everything, but I wanna show you one really cool trick that you can use on day one, which is kind of unique to OnePlus phones. So if you go into your settings, don't pinch the screen this time. On this page, go to wallpaper and style. And this is where you will find OnePlus's exclusive Flux themes from the Art Plus project. So here, if you tap on my themes, you'll see what's already installed on the phone. If you go back and go to more themes, there are, as you would expect, more themes. And there's some really cool ones to choose from here. These ones right here are my favorites, but you do have other ones where you can have a photo of a person or a pet kind of stand out from the background. The composition is also really cool. But just for demo purposes, I'm gonna choose this one right here. If you go to wallpaper, you can choose one of your own images from your own photo album. On this page, you can customize the wallpaper by tapping down here. And you can use one of your own photos by tapping album. For example, let's go with this one. What that will do is cut out the subject of the image and bring it to the front. Now, what you can do is tap the text behind and change it, and even change the color of that text if you want. You can also tap the clock and change the style of the clock to something completely different if you prefer, and even change the thickness of the clock. And if you wanna add a bit more style to it, you can tap style and add some effects to the wallpaper that you've chosen, but that will override that 3D effect. So I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna stay with the depth effect. If you swipe across, you've got your home screen. You can, of course, have a different wallpaper for your home screen. So what I'm gonna do is instead of leaving it on match lock screen, I'm gonna go to wallpaper and choose a different wallpaper. Let's say this one, for example. And just like before, you can hit the style button and add these effects, which can soften the background, take any of the sharp edges away and make your app stand out a bit more clearly. Now, remember that first tip and the adopt system colors. Here's where you can change the system colors. So if you go to system colors right here at the bottom, 
Right now it's set to coastal. There are other options like two-tone and alpine. You can also take colors from the wallpaper that you're using and have that applied to the system colors. And these will be reflected on those app icons if you do decide to adopt system colors for the app icons. So let's go with that and hit apply. And there we go, that's how you create a Flux theme. Consider this a bonus tip. So if you jump into your settings, go to wallpaper and style, and then go to the always on display section right here. Have a look through the ones that are available here. And one thing you wanna look at as well is the display settings. If you jump into that, you can actually choose what information is shown on the always on display. And if you go back, if you activate this, it will show contextual information. For example, if you have music playing on your phone, whilst it's locked, it will show on the always on display. And if you want, you can have your new notifications pop up. It's entirely up to you. And there is a little warning here that tells you it's gonna use 10% more battery than normal. But this phone has a huge battery, so I do recommend you switch this on. Okay, this next tip is a OnePlus Classic. Let me show you how to activate it and set it up. Jump into your settings, go all the way down to where you see accessibility and convenience. Here, go to gestures and motions. Scroll down again, and on this page right here at the top, you'll see the screen off gestures. Tap on this. So there's a bunch of cool things to play with here. For example, double tapping the screen to switch it on and off. That's pretty cool. Drawing a circle on the display whilst it's powered down will activate the camera. You've got the V to switch on the torch. There's also music controls here. So two fingers to pause, and then an arrow right or an arrow left to skip tracks. And then you've got the ones you can map here at the bottom. So just for example, let's say we switch on the M. What you can do now is tap where it says launch an app and you can specify what app you want the M to launch. A good one for this, for example, would be the wallet for money. Now check this out. Whilst the screen is locked, if I draw the M and then unlock the phone, it jumps straight into the Google wallet. So I recommend you set this up in a way that will work best for you. Okay, so even though this is a more affordable phone, it does still have a bunch of really powerful AI, which if you don't know how to use, well, you're gonna be missing out. So let me show you real quick how you can make use of it. So let's say you're researching a new product or you're doing some homework or something like that, and you're on a website on Chrome. Up here in the right-hand corner, you have your smart sidebar. If you swipe this out, you will see two options here at the top. You've got AI summary and AI speak. So if you can't be bothered to read the web page, you can just go to AI speak and it will literally read out the entire site for you. OnePlus Nord CE 5, max performance, big time battery, design, flagship firepower, Dimensity 8350 Apex. So if you want to listen to a website instead of actually reading it whilst you're walking down the street, for example, get some earbuds, throw those in, use this AI feature, and there you go. Now, one of the really cool things about AI speak is even when you navigate away from Google Chrome, this little floating bubble will still be open in the background, which does mean you can listen to the web page even with the phone locked. And this can be positioned anywhere on the screen, and if you tap it, you can access all of the text if you need to. The other really powerful feature here is the AI summary. So if you tap this, that scans the whole page and creates a really nice, concise AI summary for you to copy and paste into your own homework. So definitely keep an eye out for the AI summary and AI speak features when you're in various apps. It's not compatible with every single app right now, but it's worth giving it a shot because they're always updating it. There is another AI tool on this phone that is gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to doing homework or, or just generally researching stuff <laughs> and then creating your own version of things. In your app drawer, you will have the OnePlus Notes official app. If you open this, create a new document, what we're gonna do is paste in those bullet points from the OnePlus website, which I just copied. This has all been pasted here, but at this point in time, it's bullet points. I can't really pass this off as my own work. So let me show you how you could do that if you really wanted to. See the little icon down here, which has a few colorful lines and the little AI sparkle. If you tap on this, and on this page, go to continue writing, the AI will take those bullet points that you just copy and pasted from a website and it will use them to create something quite unique. And if you want to, you can tap refine and get it to elaborate or shorten or formalize or make it more casual. Let's go to elaborate. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it to write this much stuff about this phone just based off of those bullet points, but it has done. And I'm gonna insert this into the document now. I don't recommend you rely entirely on AI, but you can use it to make your life a bit easier. And now you know how to do that.
<laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this next feature is super, super useful, again, for when you're researching stuff, or you're collecting information for like a holiday or a recipe, you wanna make some food or something, or there's some important numbers or something like that that you need to keep on file. So I'm gonna go back to the OnePlus website just for demo purposes. To get this feature to work, there is one thing we need to do first, and that is this, go into your settings, scroll down to accessibility and convenience, and see this feature here right at the top, screen recognition, tap on that. Now as standard with OnePlus phones, three finger swipe down does a screenshot, but if you switch this on, it does the screenshot, but it also unlocks another step, which allows you to make use of this really, really powerful tool. I'm gonna to go back to that OnePlus page. Let's say, for example, I wanna use one of these images in my own document. What I can do is do the three finger swipe down, and then here at the top, you'll see extract content. Tap on this, that then scans this page and looks for content that can be extracted out of this page. For example, this image right here about the battery. So what I'm gonna do is tap on this, and at the bottom you'll see save to file doc. As you would expect, when you tap this, it saves it to the file doc, which exists up here on the smart sidebar. Another way to place information in the file doc is this, if you hold your finger down on it, drag it up, and to the top right corner, you'll see the option to save to file doc will pop up, and there we go, that's saved. Now here's where it gets really interesting, no matter what app you're in, you can bring this out and tap on file doc and you'll have access to the things you have just extracted. So if I go back to my OnePlus Notes app where I've already extracted bullet points, turned it into a full web article if I wanted it to be, I can actually then grab one of these images and place it within this document, like so. So as you can see, this is a fantastic tool and a great way to collect information and have it on file for quick access at any particular time. This could be useful for QR codes, boarding passes, email addresses, phone numbers, cooking recipes, maybe even tips and tricks like the ones I'm showing you in this video. Okay, so we've done a bit of customization. I've shown you some of the power tools. Now let me show you how to make your screen look even better. Jump into your settings again. Go to display and brightness. I personally really like dark mode for a couple of reasons. I think it looks better and it also saves power. The great thing about the OnePlus phone is it does have options for dark mode. So if you go into dark mode settings, here you can choose medium or gentle. Just choose whatever looks best to you, but if you wanna save the maximum amount of power, go for the enhanced. And on this same page, you do have the option to reduce the contrast in low light conditions. This just makes the screen a little less harsh on your eyes. And you can also adjust icons to dark mode. This will only apply to certain themes, so if you have changed that, it might not affect them that much, or at all, in fact. Let's go back one step because there is another feature here which will improve the display when consuming content. So in this section right here, the Ultra Vision Engine, if you turn on the sharpener, as you would expect, this will sharpen up images, particularly lower quality images. If we go back one step, there's also the Video Color Booster. So this will take content that's been shot in standard dynamic range and upscale it to high dynamic range as best as it can. So I do recommend switching this on. Something else you might want to do, since this phone does have a massive battery, is if you scroll down, you'll see the screen refresh rate right here. You can set this to high, so it kind of locks in at 120 hertz. And if you want to get real specific about what apps do have access to the 120 hertz and the ones that don't really need it, if you go to app specific refresh rate, you could choose one by one what refresh rate each one of those apps should be using. All right, remember tip two and how I showed you how to create flux themes like this one right here. One thing that I didn't show you is how to create a truly unique always on display. So that's what I'm about to show you now. Check this out. To do this, go into your settings, wallpaper and style. Here where you see always on display, tap on this. If you scroll down here, you will see a bunch of different stuff including the personalized section. So you can actually create always on displays with your own text if you want. But this is what I wanted to show you here, the custom patterns. This is quite fun. So you can use the color option or the paintbrush option or the shape option. I'm gonna go paintbrush. You can then choose the brush you want to use and even customize this particular one, the thickness of it. I'm gonna go with this one right here. And I'm gonna draw on the screen. I'm then gonna change the color and I'm gonna change the color one more time. And once you're happy with the results, I'm sure you could do better than this, just hit done. And there we go, we've created our own animated shape for the always on display. <laughs> and the next step to this is you can customize the text color to match your little 
graphic that you've just made. And there we go. You've got the custom always on display animation with your own little bit of artwork. Okay, tip number 10. This is a little tweak that you can make to make your phone perform even better. And actually this unlocks your phone's full potential. Go into your settings, scroll down, go to battery. Right at the top of this page, you will see battery mode and it will be set to balanced by default. Tap on this and set it to high performance mode. This will of course use a bit more battery, but it is gonna significantly improve the performance of your phone. So if you're a gamer or anything like that, or you do video editing on your phone, well then definitely switch this on on day one. Okay, so thank you for making it all the way to the end. I promise you guys 10 tips, you got 10 tips, but I'm the type of guy who likes to under promise and then over deliver. <laughs> so here's a few bonus tips for you guys. You know how the iPhone has this kind of glass effect? Well, OnePlus phones have this too in their own way. Let me show you how to access this. Go into your settings, go to home screen and lock screen, go to advanced visual effects and switch this on. This turns your folders into this kind of translucent glass, similar to an iPhone. Here's a cool customization tweak that iPhone might get in about five years. Pinch the home screen, go across, go to transitions. You can actually change the animation for when you're swiping back and forth between your pages. This roll one is really cool, I'm gonna go with that. Bonus tip number three, if you go into your settings, scroll all the way down to accessibility and convenience, scroll down again until you see quick launch. This is a really cool feature that I've only seen on OnePlus phones. Make sure this is switched on and then go to edit here. What you can do here is add functions that you use a lot from this list down here or apps that you use a lot from this list and map them out in an order that would make sense to you. For example, this. Once this is set up, what you can do is when your phone is locked, when you place your finger or thumb on the biometrics, if you keep it held down, it brings up these quick launch apps which you can quickly access without having to search for them on your phone. And you can have up to five of these. So listen guys, there is so much more you can do with this phone. And I have made two in-depth videos about the customization on OnePlus devices. They're both on screen right now. I appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you got any value out of this at all, a little thumbs up would be appreciated. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one, don't be late.